Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning and welcome to Christian Pentecostal Church's devotional moment. I'm Pastor Brenda Bird. Would you turn with me to John chapter 14 and we are going to read verses 1 through 4. While you're turning there, let's just open in prayer. Father, we thank you so much this morning for your word, O God. We thank you, O God, that during this beautiful Advent and this time that our minds and hearts is turned to the greatest gift ever given to man, your son. We thank you for this day. And as we read your word, Lord God, we thank you for the peace that only comes through knowing you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. John chapter 14, verse 1 through 4 says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Many of us know these few verses where Jesus was preparing to go to the cross. And as he prepared to go to the cross, he began to speak to his disciples, whom he had been um, walking with for three years. And during this time, as he began to explain to them that he was leaving, their hearts began to be troubled. And so he reassured them by telling them that he was going to prepare a place for them and that he would come back and and take them unto himself. And so this is the peace that we have as children of the living God, those who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that he is alive and he went to prepare a place for us and he will return to take us home with him. In these verses, it's so many words that jump out into my spirit. One peace, the peace that the Lord gives, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Another word that jumps out to me in these verses is hope, that we have a hope, that we can look forward to a new life and a new change in our life with God in eternity. But God also said that he would bless us today in the land of the living. So we have so many things to look look forward to as we walk with God. A new journey, new life experiences, new relationships, new love. Some are looking and praying for companionship. I pray that this year be the year that you meet the love of your life. Also, there are some who are missing loved ones because they have transitioned during these months or this year. And so my heart to you today is comfort, that the Lord may comfort you, that you may be able, along with your other friends and family, uh, celebrate the wonderful memories. I'm big on memories and my children would tell you, I love taking pictures. I love sharing memories because when your loved one transition, listen to someone from experience, those memories will keep you going. When my husband transitioned in 2011, it was the memories and the good times that we shared together that kept me, that helped during the time that I needed healing. And so I thank God today in 2022, I'm healed. I thank God for the years that we shared together. I thank God for the great memories that we shared together. But now I am, I am excited about making new memories. Another word that comes out to me today is uh, stability, stability. When you know who you are in Christ, you can live a more stable life. The Lord comes to give us peace. He comes to give us hope. He comforts us in our times of difficulty, which helps us to be stable. We may walk with the Lord. We may encourage others because we have that hope, that joy, that love, and that comfort that comes with knowing him. And so again, I just want to encourage your heart and remind you this morning that during this time, think about the peace 
Think about what God has done for you throughout the year. You know, I like to take the last uh, week or two before uh, the year end to think about the blessings that I have. Many times we uh, focus on what we don't have and we miss the trinkets and we miss the blessings that we do have. Our family and friends, food on our table, amen. Maybe healthy, amen. That we're on this side of heaven. Many, many people that all of us know and can attest to transition this year. But for some reason, God's love, his grace, his mercy has allowed us to continue to be here. So during this Advent time, during this time of recollection and remembering and memories, think about what you do have. Encourage someone else's heart. I also want to remind you that this Saturday, December the 10th, from 6 to 8, we will be having our Christmas Jubilee at Christian Pentecostal Church. And this is a fundraiser for the Staten Island Council of Churches. And I am encouraging and asking that you would buy a ticket and come and celebrate with us. And even if you can't buy a ticket, we do appreciate if you will donate. Amen. And it goes to uh, Staten Island Council of Churches, 2024 Richmond Avenue, Staten Island, New York. And so if you can, come on out and celebrate this holiday, this jubilee with us. And if you can't, make a donation. Again, I want to remind you that the Lord said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, also believe in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place for you. And if it was not so, I would have told you. So during this time, rest in the promises of God. Let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding be your solace throughout this season. May you have a wonderful, blessed, peaceful day in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, my dear sister. May the Lord bless you, my dear brother. May he keep you. May he cause his wonderful, wonderful face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance towards you and your family and give you his sweet peace. I tell you, the peace of God is like nothing you could ever experience. No matter what is going on in your life, no matter what is going on in your body, in your family, on your job, when you think about the goodness of the Lord, when you think about the peace of God, when you think about he loves you when no one else does, when you think about he's there for you when everyone else will leave you, it will give you a peace that truly passes understanding. God bless you and see you next week.